So in today's video, I'm going to be doing the highly requested or whatever updated makeup tutorial. It's been super requested lately. Um, we're just going to get straight into it. So while I'm like prepping my face, I'm just going to tell you guys like my skincare routine. So I saw a comment on my last video, I think, asking for a skincare routine. And as much as I would love to make a video on that the video would probably be like two minutes long because like, i hardly do anything to my face so the only two things i use is the cerave cerave whatever moisturizer and the um what's it called the cleanser so this is the moisturizer i use it's for normal to dry skin and then the cleanser i have is like the turquoise one and it's for oily skin and the reason is because i have like a combination type skin so i mostly get dry sorry i mostly get oily on like my t-zone and like on my cheeks but i get mostly dry on my nose so that's why i use my cleanser for oily and then moisturizer for dry because it kind of like balances it out but it's just what works for me but yeah i went ahead and put that moisturizer on and then i mentioned this in my last makeup tutorial but sometimes i'll go in with a face razor thing and then i'll just like shave off the hairs that i have because i feel like it helps creating a smooth base i'm not going to today because i just don't feel like i need it and i already went ahead and did my mustache <laughs> like a few days ago so i'm good on that and then guys in my aesthetics class we just started learning how to tweeze eyebrows well they didn't really get to tweeze my eyebrows just in the middle but i'm not gonna worry about these little hairs right now because i want to save that for my class so once i do that i also make sure to pull my hair back with these little clips i'll have mostly everything that i'm using in the description um if i don't i'll probably have it in the comments because every time i try to like put more things in my description it just doesn't work so if not then check in the comments i'll have everything linked there okay so my first step is my brows and lashes and sorry if the mirror blocks a little bit but i go ahead and use a spoolie you could also use like the end of your eyebrow brush and then for the gel, I used the got to be glued. A lot of people on my first day of school video were confused that I was using a hair gel on my eyebrows. And I'm like, it's just gel. Like, it all does the same thing. So I grabbed the spoolie and then obviously I get some glue, which I already went ahead and did. And then on like the lid here, I just like rub it, I guess, just so it could get an even coverage i'll go back with more glue if i need to but most of the time i don't need to use more glue guys i don't have my contacts in so i can't really see what i'm doing you're gonna want to first like brush through it sometimes the glue gets stuck in the spoolie but i'll just like push i'll just like push it while dragging it and then it should like come out and then i also like to first brush it in this opposite direction so that the glue can get all the hairs fully covered and then i go back and then this is the part where i shape my brows honestly this part depends on whatever you prefer and like what your actual brow shape already is so what i like to do is i brush like this bottom part and then i'll go in and like make it more sharp and then after that this glue kind of dries pretty fast so i do one brow at a time just because i feel like it turns out better um and then to fill in my brows i've been using eyeshadow for the longest time and i prefer it honestly because if i'm using gel with like a pomade i just feel like it doesn't mix well together so i'm using the maybelline like this black little eyeshadow thing i got from like walmart and then I have my brush. What I do is I grab some. And then if I feel like I had too much. Then I kind of just like. Because there's like this empty part right here. And I kind of just like wipe it off. And then you want to start filling in. And it's okay if you mess up. Because we're going to carve the eyebrows too. So you can always like fix it up with the concealer. And then I tend to not really go into the front part just so it can have like an ombre effect and look a little bit more natural. Because you don't want to have like 
the boxy eyebrows i mean if that's what you like then go ahead but personally me um i normally end like right here and then i'll go in a little bit but not like super dark you know what i mean and then i'm gonna do the same exact thing on this eyebrow Okay, this is what my brows look like. So now, um, girl, I kind of ran out, but I'm going to try to use whatever's left in here. Um, but I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Grit Primer. I know a lot of people use this as well, and like the blue one, but I'm using the pink one. I just have it restocked. Honestly, both work just as fine. Oh yeah, there's still some left. I kind of go in with like a few pumps. But sometimes I prefer to like put it in with my fingers so I can like activate it. I don't know. And then I like tap it in. Another tip I have, whenever you're moisturizing and putting primer on, I make I always make sure to never forget like this part on your nose and around your lips. And then in my brushes, you want to grab like a flat brush so i'm either using this one or a slanted one like this one to carve my eyebrows i'm gonna be using the elf camel concealer you can never go wrong with elf if i had to pick a brand to use my whole face in it'd probably be elf i use this in the shade light peach i just kind of grab some on the brush right here and then i just use whatever is on here so i grab a little bit and then this part is a little bit tedious so i'm gonna try to explain it and then do it because i know if i'm gonna start talking while doing it i'm gonna mess up so basically i always start like right here normally i like to start on the brow that i like the most so i can like reference off of it my eyebrows they're kind of like it's because of this eye like this eye is my hooded eye so I always have to start with this brow so I could match it with this one. Like if you have a hooded eye, you probably would understand. And then I just like to drag whatever's left on my brush onto my eyelid. And then it should look something like this. The one thing I mostly struggle with is like one eyebrow will be like more straight and then the other one's like more like slanted. So it's just happening to me right now. If I need to, I'll put more on my eyelids, but most of the time I'm fine with using whatever's left on my brush. Okay, so once you're done with that, you're going to take your damp beauty blender. I got this tip from another YouTuber, but she said to make sure to have what's it called a microfiber sponge or beauty blender i think it just doesn't like soak in as much and then we're gonna want to set the eyelids oh me <laughs> bro these little eyelash things be everywhere i'm using my holy grail my airspun powder like i love this powder with all my heart and then i'm gonna grab my favorite thing ever powder puffs literally get yourself powder puffs if you don't have them already honestly these are so much better to use than using like a beauty blender so i just grab a little bit i don't grab a ton but if i accidentally grab a lot i just go on my hand and like tap it and then this also kind of makes it like a set powder or a pressed powder and then you just want to like press that in and then this also helps with avoiding the crease lines on your eyelids because I know me, my eyelids tend to get very like oily. If I like set them, then it helps prevent it and with creasing. Okay, so next are the lashes and sometimes I do it at the beginning, sometimes I'll do it at the end. But for this video, I'm going to be doing it in the beginning because I don't want to look bald the whole time. For my lashes, I just grab my lash curler. This one, I think, is by e.l.f. And then I grab my mascara. 
And then this one, I used the Lash Paradise Waterproof. And they recently just changed it to this blue color, which is so cute. Oh, it matches me. I don't know why. I just prefer the waterproof mascaras. I have a problem with getting, like, the smudge marks. And it just... It was just so annoying, but it was because the mascaras wouldn't be waterproof. So I don't get the smudges anymore when I use this one. So I just give them a quick curl. Nothing too crazy because I'm going to be putting falsies over. Same with mascara. I don't even bother to put like more than one layer because once again, I'm going to be putting something over anyways. And then as for my lashes um i'll show you guys okay a lot of you guys ask what lashes i use too so it comes in this box but they're from shein bro i literally only have one pair left i feel like i just bought these i'll put the code up and then in the description as well and then for lash glue i just use the duo don't mind how caressy it looks this thing has been through a lot okay so i'm actually running out of this too so hopefully i have enough I don't like to put glue directly on my lashes. Instead, I like to put the glue directly on my eyelids. I just find it a lot easier and quicker. So, I'm gonna get my glue and just outline like that. And then sometimes I'll use tweezers, sometimes I won't. It just depends. And look at that. You want to make sure to clamp your real natural lashes to the fake ones. I never used to do this and my eyelash, like if I were to look to my side, you would be able to see like my straight lashes. Okay, this is the best it's gonna get. I hope they don't look too uneven, but let's see. Sorry if it bothers you. So now we can finally go onto the base. Um, I feel like that took forever. But now I'm going to be using, once again, e.l.f. This one's the Liquid Halo Glow. Literally, my fave. This is what helps me get the smooth base. But this just makes it look more filtered. This one's in the shade Light Medium. I just go directly in with the brush. <gasps> I just realized I never carved that out. I never carved the... Uh, it's okay. We'll just do it with my foundation. Okay, never mind. I changed my mind. We're just gonna carve it with concealer. Okay, I'm gonna explain again and then demonstrate it. But it's honestly the same, the same steps. You just wanna go along your eyebrow. Um, but now we're gonna go to the foundation. And lately I've been using the Fit Me foundation. Don't get me wrong. You guys know how much I love the L'Oreal. So this is the one I would always used to use because it was just so full coverage. I literally loved it. It left your face so smooth. So this one's in the shade 3, sorry, 230. And then I have to go in with a brush and then I start like painting it on to my face. And then don't forget to put some like in between your brow. And then once again, like right here on your nose. And then also don't forget to go down to your chin. What the heck? What is this? <gasps> I hate when it gets in my hair. Like, So now I'm going to go with the brush. Preferably like a fluffier one. I don't know. I just like using a brush at first. And then as expected, the brush won't get like every single like crevice. So then you're going to go in with your beauty blender and then blend out the rest. And then once I'm done blending in my foundation, that's when I normally can tell like if my eyebrows are even or not. So right now I'm like looking at them and I'm just going to like go ahead and touch them up. Okay, so I'm done with that. Now we're going to move on to concealer. And then something I forgot to mention was whenever I'm putting my foundation on, is I don't really focus on getting in my inner corners because I'm just gonna put concealer right over it and it also helps with like not creasing. So then I'm just gonna go in with my concealer. This is the same one as I did with my eyebrows, like the same shade. And then I put them under my eyes, chin, forehead, and then a little bit right here like on this area 
because it's gonna make the bronzer look more snatched and then you want to blend it normally i like to blend all the smaller parts first and then my eyelids just so i can give it a little bit more time to dry okay so next i'm gonna grab my powder puff and uh, this also helps with the creasing i normally like to do this right away so sometimes i'll even have this like ready and then i just set that but like only under my eye because i'm gonna go in with the rest later after i bronze and that's it and for my bronzer i'm gonna be using the physician's formula this one's in the shade sunkissed bronzer i like to grab a fluffy angled brush and then i'm obviously ready now but it's okay like this smells so good too it's my favorite bronzer and then i go in like right on top of where i had put that concealer and then also another thing if you're like more new to makeup make sure you're dabbing in the product and not like dragging it tell me why i was watching this girl's like get ready with me she was putting like liquid blush or whatever and then blending it out with her beauty blender and this girl was like dragging it on her skin i was like no like you want to dab it and then once i'm done with that i'm going to be going in with a smaller brush for the nose contour so i like to start right here at the bottom and then i go make another line right on top of that to create the two lines of the circle and once i'm done with that i'm going to connect them on the side to actually create the circle so connect that side and this side and then grab a little bit more and then already your nose should have like those two lines you want to go to those two lines it's just how your nose is naturally structured so you just want to go over it and then i also like to use the bronzer on my eyelids i just feel like it adds a nice little touch and then you want to drag the product up to your nose so it could all blend in together and then now I can actually bake my whole face. And I'm going to be using the same um, powder puff. Just tap it all over your face. And then for your nose, you want to... I kind of like to grab a little bit more powder. And then just draw those two lines right there. And then I like to do a little dot right there. And then that line going up. I don't wait that long to like blend everything in and then I just like blend it all together once again okay so now your face should be coming in together and my next step is blush and I literally love this step because I love my blush I'm using the Juvia's Place volume floor whoa volume 4 I mean look at this these colors are just so pigmented I love it so much but I just kind of like mix the two. Um, I was having some technical difficulties, but we're good now. I think I was running out of storage, but I just cleared some out. Um, as I was saying, I just kind of like tap it or whatever because I don't like wearing too much. So basically, I just start right here and then just drag it down here. And then that's like perfect. Final step, I think. Second to last final step. I like to add. Oh, oh, this almost fell. Okay, so second to last thing, I add highlighter. This one I stole my sister's because, bro, this highlighter is just so good. It's the Wet and Wild. The thing fell off. Again. So I grabbed this like fluffy ankle brush, and I don't. I literally don't even need to add a lot because this highlighter is just so good. One little tap will do. I low-key stopped putting inner corner highlighter. I don't know. I just I just got over it. So I don't do that anymore. And then some people ask what setting spray I use. But the thing is, I to school, I don't wear setting spray. So if I wear makeup all day, then I'll be using the Milani Make It Last. This one's really good. Um, I also really recommend the Morphe one. It comes like in a black container. That one is so good too. And then, final step is lips. So, a funny story. I don't know where my lipstick is. I'll be back. Okay, I found my lipstick. It was just in the bathroom. But since I've been putting, like, chapstick before I wear my makeup, I just take all of it off. Either way, I do this to take off, like, the foundation that was left on my lips. 
Normally, I either use this lipstick or I use... What's it called? It's by LA Girl. Personally, I don't really like using pencils anymore. I don't know. It's just like... I don't know if it was the way I would apply it, but... I feel like it would hurt. I prefer using like the twisty ones. If not, I'll just use some lipstick and a little brush because I don't like doing it like this. This one is the Maybelline. Let me tell you, this literally stays on your lips all day. It don't move. I just go like this and then just outline my lips. I, I kind of leave like the middle left, but I'll like blend it if you know what I mean. Okay, so I'm finished. So this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this helps at least a little bit because a lot of you guys asked for it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next one.